Hey everybody, welcome to Worship Musings number two at Roosevelt Community Church. My name is Ron, I am the worship director, and uh, I'm going to talk about three things. Number one, Zoe Warner. Uh, Zoe did an amazing painting, uh, more so a drawing, um, to describe God's love as we are in the third week of Advent. And I'm going to show that picture to you right here. Now, Zoe's picture, the thing I love about it is that it's a child's perspective of God's love. And I think the church sometimes tends to forget about the children's voices. And hearing Zoe talk about God's love and God is the one who created us and protects us pretty much is a good reminder for all of us to remember, um, whether you're old or young. It, it's just a refreshing, refreshing thought that we sometimes forget. And so, um, just as God came and walked the earth um, to show his love for us and came to be with us, um, God also did it because he loves us and he protects us. So, kudos to Zoe. Um, number two, I want to talk about Ruth Sturdivant. Now, Ruth... Ruth, we, uh, she read a, uh, a thank you note to the church that she wrote. Um, what happened with Ruth was a little over a year ago, um, we began this process as a church of moving Ruth from one house uh, to another. Her first house was not very livable. Just to give you an example, she talked about how her Tomcat used to go in and out of the house through a hole in the wall not an intentional hole, just a hole that was in the wall and her cat would come in and out that way. Now, thanks to uh, Dave Carr, Ruth uh, lives in a house up on up, uh, up the hill on U Street. Uh, she lives in a house that she's able to um, that she's able to cook in now and she's able to live in. And uh, the church walked alongside her just just praying for her, being there with her, and um, even physically helping her through uh, letting her stay at different locations, different houses, and also um, painting and other various things at her house, at her new house. So um, Ruth read this letter and uh, it was very touching. It was a nice worship time in the sense of not remembering, you know, oh, good job church or anything like that, but it was more so remembering the fact that God is good and, you know, Ruth talked about how one of our one of our uh, church members kept telling her, you know, you got to be patient, got to be patient, and sometimes we forget that because we live in such a fast pace that we forget that God moves on His time, not ours. So, Ruth, congratulations on the new place, and uh, um, finally, moving on, number three, uh, Kyle and Carrie Young, they dedicated their child this week. And uh, it was it was pretty cool, you know. We always joke about the only way to grow a church really is to reproduce children. So <laughs> uh, it's always nice to see baby dedications and uh, to see families there uh, gushing over the baby and taking all the pictures. But also uh, that the parents are willing to dedicate the baby and and be willing to say, you know what, we're willing to raise this child in a certain way. Do you hear this day recognize Anakin 
as a gift of God and give heartfelt thanks for God's blessing. Do you give this day a pledge as parents that you will bring up and in the training and instruction? It's like French, we do. Um, congratulations, Youngs. Congratulations, Ruth and Zoe. Good job. Very proud of you. So with that being said, peace. Have a good weekend, and I'll see you next week.